With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is classify the following into osmosis or diffusion. So if we talk about osmosis, then osmosis is the process in which the movement of solvent molecules take place and the solvent that we generally use is water, right? The, sol the solvent molecule that generally moves or uh, is um, the movement uh, that takes place is of water only, okay? Now the osmosis takes place through a semi-permeable membrane, but no such membrane is required in diffusion. First, and the second part is the movement of uh, molecules of a substance. Any substance can take place from high concentration to low concentration in diffusion, right? So, osmosis is a type of diffusion, but diffusion cannot be osmosis, right? So, because in osmosis, the movement of solvent molecules or the water molecules take place through a membrane. This is the difference between osmosis and diffusion. So, if we talk about each of these one by one, the first is swelling up of a raisin and keeping it in water, that is osmosis because the movement of solvent, which is water, is taking place from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration. The movement has to be high concentration or to the low concentration, right? So, the second is spreading of virus on sneezing. Now, spreading of virus on sneezing is an example of diffusion, okay? Now, this is an example of diffusion. If we talk about the third one, the third one is earthworm dying on coming in contact with common salt. Now, this is an example of osmosis because the water from the earthworm is dehydrated with the help of common salt and osmosis takes place. Right. Uh, talking about the D part, which is shrinking of grapes in a thick sugar syrup, this again is osmosis. Right. Because again, the movement of solvent, which is water, is taking place over here. So, this has to be osmosis. Talking about the other one, which is preserving pickles in salt. Now, preserving pickles in salt is an example of osmosis, right? E is an example of osmosis only because, again, the same reason. Now, addition of salt dehydrates the things, right? So, if you add salt, it dehydrates the water. It dehydrates the pickles and that is why the process is known as osmosis, okay? Now, talking about the F part, which is spreading of smell of cake being baked through the house. Now, this is an example of diffusion, right? Because no uh, solvent, which is water, is responsible for this. That is why this process is diffusion. Now, again, talking about the G part, which is aquatic animals using oxygen dissolved in water during respiration. Now, this is an example of diffusion of oxygen, right? Diffusion of oxygen takes place, uh, which is dissolved in water. And that is why aquatic animals use that oxygen because the diffusion of oxygen takes place. Right? So, uh, that's all for the question. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.